The Chinese government depends on repression to stay in power. As a result, it views the global defense of human rights as an existential threat. Now, the Chinese people are like everyone else. They want the right to live freely and in dignity. But President Xi Jinping is overseeing the most brutal and pervasive oppression that China has seen in decades. Civic groups are being shut down. Independent journalism is no more. Online conversation has been curtailed. Freedom for the people of Hong Kong is being challenged. And for the Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims of Xinjiang, China has imposed the most intrusive system of surveillance the world has ever seen and has detained one million people for forced indoctrination. Now, China is determined to avoid criticism of these deeply disturbing trends. It has long censored people within China. It is now trying to extend that censorship to the rest of the world. Now, some autocrats and dictators are happy to go along. Some powerful governments that could stand up to China have been too divided or distracted. And China is quite willing to use money to force censorship, whether of governments or businesses, by threatening to deny them access to the Chinese market. The voice of the United Nations on human rights has also been a, a major target of China, and with considerable success. At the UN Security Council, China joins up with Russia to block any action on such human rights crises as Syria, Venezuela, and Myanmar. Government should band together to challenge Beijing's repression. China cannot stand up to the entire world all at once. The bottom line is, now is the time to resist China's assaults on the international human rights system. Decades of progress on human rights are at stake. So is our future.